Hello, y'all. Uh, look who's in the kitchen with me. It's me. Eddie Croucher. <laughs> <laughs> I call I call these two Betty Croucher, <laughs> mm -hmm. which probably I shouldn't do. <laughs> but Doesn't bother me. you know, I I just like laughing, and that makes me laugh. <laughs> so uh, I wanna I wanna uh, uh, inform y'all on something. You can see that Eddie and I are in a totally different kitchen from what you're used to seeing uh, he and Teresa and me in. So it's important that you watch the Boston Butt show because I go through and explain to y'all what's happening in my life. So I don't wanna have to keep repeating it because everybody will soon get bored. Never. Never. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, I hope they don't get bored. But anyway, make sure you catch that show because I explained everybody. And Eddie comes from New Hampshire, y'all. But he's been in Savannah as long as I have. I've been here 32 years. Uh, or... You're right, this year will be my 31st year, so I'm, I'm one behind. You. I came here in 87. Okay, I'm, I'm well, no, then I, I, came here, I came here in 89. Okay, 89. 89 is when I started the bag lady. I've been here two years when, or a year and a half. Um, so Eddie style. I'm as southern as you now. I know. <laughs> I know. No accent yet. We've got to work on that. He's one of them damn Yankees. I know. It won't go away. <laughs> he came and stayed. <laughs> Which, that was my blessing. I <laughs> uh, I'm so blessed that you decided to stay down south because uh, this man means an awful lot to me. I have the utmost respect and love for him. But so anyway, Eddie called his mama, <laughs> who still lives in New Hampshire. Say hey to mom. Hey mom. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not gonna say that because I might get your mama in trouble about what she told me about you. That's for another day. Yeah. <laughs> He's already read enough as she it is, Paula. She loves you. Okay. <laughs> Your mama loves you. She really loves you. <laughs> okay, what are we cooking uh, today? Okay, so anyway, Eddie called his mama to get her stuffed cabbage recipe from her. Uh, because Eddie loved that dish and he said it was so good. I said, I've maybe cooked that once about 50 years ago. So... I'm, I'm out of my element with this dish, so we are lucky enough to have uh, Eddie be the expert on this dish. Well, I'm not, no, not really. I, I mean, it's You're a, an it's, expert at eating it, aren't it's you? It's a dish that, that I grew up in. I'm, I'm, I grew up in a, well, my family's Polish. Nine children. He's one of nine children. All right, one of nine Polish children. <laughs> <laughs> Stuffed cabbage, or we, we call them um, galumpkies. 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 Um, are, I mean, it was kind of a, a staple. I mean, I would say it was our. Your mama kind of, fixed it once a week, maybe. Or? Um, no, but you know, a good bit in the Couple fall of times a and month. in the in the winter. Um, yeah. It was a great, you know, great thing. I mean, it made a lot, and you knew you were going to have some good leftovers. Uh huh. And it wasn't all that expensive, was it? No, no. It's because very... you're using ground beef and ground pork. Right. Right. Ground beef, ground pork, some rice. Mm -hmm. um, I know some people. Oh, um, great filler. <laughs> uh, With nine children, you got to figure out how to stretch that thing, don't you? Some people add. Um, you know some vegetable, you know either you know carrots or celery or um, or um, onion. Uh, there's onion. There's onion mixed with our bacon. Oh, okay. So right um, here, you have sautéed onions and bacon. Okay, that's not very much for that big old bowl. Uh, it's just to add. I and mean, we've got the ground pork in there too. Okay. Though, so. Okay. This smells so. heavenly, y'all. Wish we had a scratch and sniff. <laughs> <laughs> So okay, what do we do so, first? Um, Get us what, started. What we normally, I mean, you would start with um, your head of cabbage, and you're going to want to um, put it in a stock pot. Um, first, you're going to want to you're gonna core, core it. yeah, 
um, just so that you get that. And be careful when you're doing it because the core is very stubborn, but yeah. um, you're gonna wanna core it so that the leaves, as it, as it cooks, the leaves are just gonna peel off nicely. Um, and um, once you get the cabbage boiled, you're going, to, um, mm -hmm. the, the outer leaves, you want to hold on to. I mean, yeah. they're, they're not the prettiest. They are the strongest. The strongest. Of all the leaves. And they are the biggest. Right, right. They're the biggest. So you want a big roll. But these you don't want to discard. You want to hold on to yeah. them and you, you can um, layer your pan. Yeah, and they're tough. If you're just, if you're just um, frying cabbage, Eddie, uh, those outside green tough leaves, uh, you have to slice those thin. I do them almost in strips, and it takes longer for those to cook than it does the inside of the cabbage to cook because they're just tougher. So I always throw those in my pot first and give them a chance to cook. Okay, put me to work if you want me to work. Okay. What, what do you want me so to do? So the, the first thing um, we've... Uh, we've We've already pre-cooked our, our mm -hmm. cabbage, mm -hmm. got that going. And um, now it, it, it just comes for the mixture. What okay. goes inside it, um, okay. we're going to, um, you're gonna have a, a, a cup salt. and a half. Well, that, that went in the water with the cabbage. Oh, okay. Um, but you're gonna add salt to this, uh, right? Yes, yes, that comes. She's getting ahead of no, you. I'm, I'm, I'm a recipe follower. <laughs> I am a recipe follower. <laughs> Me too, Eddie. <laughs> That's yeah. my checklist. And some, and some people are. And some people like to... Jump around. Free balling? Or... <laughs> it's not free balling. <laughs> <laughs> so, Eddie, what do we do next <laughs> okay, with your recipe? So we are going to start with... Um, we, we have... Um, a cup and a half uh, cooked rice. Uh -huh. And you're going to probably not want to use the instant rice you're going to want to you know cook it's um, old timey yeah and then um do i need to get a measuring cup for that oh uh, no i can measure it right Ms. here teresa already oh teresa's already measured it. She's already so measured small. that up for us <laughs> um and then um we'll start off with um a pound and a half of ground beef and a pound and a half of ground pork um you're going to want to um Cut up um, three slices of bacon to saute with mm -hmm. your onions, and you can mm -hmm. you can do that ahead of time, and um, get the mixture ready to go. And then um, I'm going to add two eggs, two eggs to the mixture. A teaspoon of garlic powder. Can I measure that out? Um, for yes, you, you can. All right, I'm going to use the half a teaspoon because it'll fit down in there, and I'll just do that twice. And how about your one teaspoon of salt, right? Uh, and you know what? I would say, you know, um, that's a lot of meat. Salt, see. salt to taste. Yeah. Um, okay. Because some teaspoon people are not. Teaspoon of black pepper. Yes. Yeah. Is does that sound about right, Eddie? A teaspoon. Yeah. That's good. Okay. So and I then think we did the garlic. Oh, butter. brown sugar. No, no, that comes later for the um, for the tomato sauce. Oh, okay. yay! <laughs> <That comes later. laughs> so this, um, you just go in and mix uh -huh. it, mix it all up. You want a spoon? I got, I got lots of spoons. Oh, no, let's see him do it. Look at Eddie. Get messy. You. And he did just wash his hands, everybody. Of course yes, he yes, does. Yes, I, yes. I, this I, is the cleanest man you've ever met in your whole entire life. You're going to want to add the rice in. These are the best tools that God has made available for us. Keep them clean, and they'll work for you a very long time till Mr. Arthur Rivers comes <laughs> visiting, because he's visiting me. <laughs> um, you know, we, you and I were talking about um, Thanksgiving. Yeah, um, yeah. And I was telling you about my Polish grandmother making yes. the... Yes, I um, wanted to know, I was asking him what a typical Thanksgiving was at his house. We made, I told you that she made a, a, uh -huh. a meat dressing. Yes. Um, and it was, you know, it was probably similar to this with ground beef, ground pork, uh -huh. egg, you know, spice the way you want it. Rather than rice, she added um, uh, elbow macaroni. 
-hmm. And then the, so is the, it like goulash? No, no, <laughs> not for the no. It, it was almost like a meatloaf, I guess. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, does your mama know how to make it? Yes, yes. Okay, good. So Carol walked me through it. Yeah. We need to get Carol down here and do I a know. show. <laughs> okay, so that's got the that mixture. Hold up, do you, when are you adding the bacon and, and Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot the good stuff actually. Uh huh. This is this is the really good prize. Stuff. And you know, not everyone actually I've gotta I've got to say, um, my father um uh, I don't recall him um adding bacon. Uh huh. Um, you, you know, onions were so right there. So this is something your mama's done. I've seen other recipes. Um, uh -huh. Like I said, um, uh -huh. people have added what they like in it. Uh -huh. You know, like I said, some people add vegetables. Um, yeah. No, this sounds perfect to me, Eddie. Uh, but the uh, bacon, I think, will just give it that extra, yes. extra flavor. I love the rest of the handwritten recipe next to it too. Just I know. To, <laughs> to add a little punch. Scratch. Yeah. When Eddie called his mother, she said, Oh, Eddie, I I can tell you how I make it. I didn't get it. I didn't get no an exact recipe. Exact <laughs> recipe. And I know that's <laughs> driving your son crazy. <laughs> that he's having to do a little bit of guessing here. <laughs> All right, so we've got the cabbage that you uh, parboiled with the salt. Yes, sir. You've got a cup and a half of rice, one and a half pounds of lean ground beef, one and a half pounds of ground pork, three slices of bacon chopped, along with a fourth of a cup of finely chopped onions, just a fourth of a cup. Yep. Two eggs, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Okay, and then the two tablespoons of brown sugar, two cups of crushed tomatoes, tomato juice to. You kind of just cover say? to cover. cover. You, um, that's the last thing you'll cover do. Cover rolls. Oh yeah. yeah, rolls. The cabbage rolls. Okay, so, I got so, you. So, um, actually, um, kind of. And just FYI, the recipe like will be connected to this look, video. Doesn't that look like an angel? It does. It does. Wow. So, um, she's so pretty. What you do uh -huh. is you take a scoop mm -hmm. and you don't mm -hmm. want to over, over stuff over, it. Uh -huh. Um, and you kind of want to start it in the middle. Wow, that's it. Well, how many of those rolls would you eat? You, oh gosh, and now this is kind of a small one, but um. Now, did you cut it in any certain way, Eddie, or does it just kind of open that way? Uh, no, it, it opens that way. The only okay, thing- Do you want to show us that? When you break that, the only thing you want to do is um, is uh, take a knife and uh -huh. when you when you peel. Um, Look how perfect that is. I'm trying to show just like Eddie. That looks like a roll that Eddie would make. Oh, the perfect roll! Of course, it does. Uh -huh. When you peel the um, cabbage leaf off, you're going to want to um, trim down the vein part because it's so crunchy yeah. and you don't want to eat that yeah um and not only that it'll make it um easier to um stuff so just makes it a little more pliable okay. um would you like me to start doing that on these others yeah and then we can just go on and stick stick that in and there and just lay it uh seam side down on top of your tougher cabbage leaves and um I always thought it was interesting the um the word hey. golumki or um you know it's, it's actually pronounced differently by different people and so what does that mean uh, stuffed cabbage uh, it means stuffed cabbage <laughs> but um what it actually means um and i thought it was funny the first time i ever heard it was um a glumki in um polish is um like sleeping pigeon it looks Sleeping like, it looks pigeon. like, and I guess someone at one point thought the rolls looked like a little pigeon uh -huh. tucked up sleeping. Huh. Well, birds do. They kind of tuck their little head in, you know, underneath their wings. Yeah. All right, so how's that one? Okay, so um, what we'll do is go in and get all these rolls and we'll come back and do the sauce. Okay, great. <laughs> all right, we've got all the rolls. And look, look, look at these beautiful, beautiful 
bundles of cabbage stuffed with meat. Sleeping pigeons. Sleeping <laughs> pigeons. <laughs> and Eddie is very uh, precise and um, he's got them looking perfect. Um, so the, the that, cabbage, that, two pound, that pound and a half and pound and a half, it makes a lot. It, it? Yeah, it, it did one head of cabbage. All right, now let's, let's remind everybody how you started. You cored a, a fairly what? large head of cabbage. Right. And you want to kind of inspect the cabbage mm -hmm. to make sure the mm -hmm. leaves look mm -hmm. look good. And, yes. Um, yes, you want a pretty cabbage for this. And then you put it in a stock pot. Stock pot. And you want to... You want to like, Just cover it with salty water. Salty water. And uh, you get it to a good boil, but then uh -huh. basically steam the, uh -huh. uh, the lettuce then, then for about 15 the minutes. The lettuce. I mean, a uh, cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say hey, you hold him back on the lettuce. Uh, so you wanna you wanna um, cut down your heat and cook it for fifteen minutes. Yeah, because it's really going to um, you, you're you're about to cook it for an you know maybe an hour to an hour and a half. Wow. Um, so it just um, looks it's fabulous. going to. I'm so excited. So, anyways, um, right here, I see that you use what I use. If I'm using canned tomatoes, I love the crushed, crushed. crushed tomatoes. I don't like them diced. It seems like they will never. Yeah, and a lot. You know, it depends. It's what you like. I mean, um, sometimes yeah. some people use a like a, a plum tomato. You know, canned uh -huh. tomatoes, uh -huh. and then you you've got to dice them up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but what you're really shooting for is some Just juice get like that. Like that. And, yes. Um, you're going to add. Uh huh. Oh, that's right. The brown sugar. The now, good part. A lot, a lot of recipes call for white sugar in, oh, in there. Oh, no, I think brown sugar. My mother, even when she makes her, what we say, um, American Trap Suey, you say goulash, my mother will put <laughs> brown, brown sugar in her. Really? <laughs> All right, now you packed that down good, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> what does the brown sugar do? Doesn't it I like take out some sweet? Well, doesn't it take some of the acidity uh -huh. out of it? It, it? it will cut the tartness of the tomato so and just make it sweet. Two tablespoons. Uh huh. And let's mix a it up. Packed. Ooh, yeah, that brown sugar is gone. Mm gonna really just set everything off. Okay, so you just wanna label that on top of your cabbage. Yeah, and just let it. Here, I'll hold your bowl for you, how about that? Just let it drizzle down all inside. Yeah. <laughs> he then, sounds like a chef, doesn't he? I know, he does. <laughs> He's left-handed, which looks so awkward to me. I am. I am so am I. So is Linton. The girls are right-handed. I think all my grandchildren are right-handed, except for, you know what I haven't been able to find in this kitchen? A right-handed person. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> no <I'm> right, <laughs> right now, I can't find the right-handed right person. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? I, I haven't found no rubber spatulas. Oh. Mm. I'll have, I have, to, keep, no have to keep unpacking. <laughs> Okay, and then... All right, watch that Boston butt special and you'll find out what I was going, what I was going on. Because <laughs> I, know, I know you're thinking, what are they talking about? Can, as my grandmother used to say, wrench this out? Yes. <laughs> yes, it's all... Oops. Oops! You rinsed it too much. I over-wrenched it. Um, and basically, we're just going for, for the juice to... Okay. Keep it going. Well, so, it says uh, here, it said just enough tomato juice to cover. Yeah. So, I mean, you rolling, add, so. add what you want. I mean, you, it's all going to steam yeah. in there. Yeah. So, you're going to cook this covered, Daddy? It's going to be covered, uh -huh. and you're going to cook it at 350 uh -huh. for at least an hour. Do you need some? Because you've got... Keep pouring uh -huh. so they can yeah. see what covered means. Yeah. Well, it's. I mean, I can see it. It's up on the edges already. So it doesn't have to mean the whole cabbage. Yeah. To me, if it said covered, I would, I would think that meant for that, that's, them that's all good. to be covered. That's good because it's going to you know, to the top. 
it's gonna steam up and okay yeah um, yeah that looks delicious y'all cannot um, wait some it smells good some people will you know after it's done cooking will um um add some sour cream to the juice and yes. make it more a little more like like uh tomato scent i'm i'm so <laughs> i'm so glad that you said that because uh I would love sour cream on top of it. Yeah. And it looks like it could even stand a little cheese. Well, cheese, you could, I, I've never done cheese. Um, you, you know, if you have children that don't like um, cabbage and there's no way you're gonna get them to eat cabbage, yes. go on and cook it the way it is. Um, you can serve this over pasta, uh -huh. over mashed potatoes. Uh -huh. Go on and get, you know, let uh -huh. it cook, take uh -huh. the cabbage off. And, uh -huh. You wouldn't serve it over rice because it's rice. It is rice in it. Yeah. yeah. But um, anyways, this is it. And cover it in the oven at 350 for and about is, an hour. This is one of the first pans that we came out with. Teresa, do you remember? I asked them a hundred years ago if they could make me cookware that was like the old blue speckled. And I had an old pan, probably 75 years old. I showed it to them and they said, well, we've never done anything like that, but we will try. Yeah. This is how it turned out. They brought it to me. I said, that looks like marble. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I said, no, I'm talking speckle, honey. And that's, course, that's how my parents it everywhere. They, yeah. they had their speckle pan like this. Yes, and... yes. Yeah, so in the oven it goes. 350 for and one the hour. The oven is up to 350, so you get the honor of the butt shot, Eddie. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> we had to lower the We're rack. gonna have to readjust it. <laughs> one hour. Check right. it, and um, I can't remember the beef when. should be cooked, should not be pink, and cook it about another half hour if it needs cooking. Eddie, I so appreciate you sharing one of your family recipes with us. Uh, if y'all want more, get in touch with us and we'll just have Eddie cooking his mother's whole <laughs> entire repertoire. <laughs> so thank you, Carol, for uh, sharing your recipe with us and walking Eddie through the way you do this. It looks, well, I hadn't seen it yet. You haven't seen it? But I saw it once you poured the V8 juice on top and it was so beautiful. Yeah. But I, I sure am ready to see the well, this finished is product. My, you know, my mom's recipe, but actually it's uh, my, um, I would say it's my dad's recipe. But I added a few okay. things and he probably uh, wouldn't approve of that. <laughs> <laughs> now what did you add that dad wouldn't approve of? Oh, probably the, the bacon <laughs> I added. Um, but anyways, oh. it is ready and... It looks wonderful. Yes, please. Yes, a please. small one, a very small one. Okay. That a, looks like a very small a one. A baby pigeon. Right? Yeah, because a baby pigeon. He loves calling a pigeon. <laughs> I got a sleeping pigeon. I just got a kick out of it. Wow. Wow. This is a wonderful meal to feed a, cra uh, a crowd of folks. Yeah, and it's great. And Nine children and two parents. And yes. And it's so economical, right? Yes, yes. So they go cut into right, one so, for me? Yes. So, Eddie, we could, you could do all your prep on this the day before, right? Oh, definitely. And put it in the refrigerator. Put it in the fridge. And... Eddie, show me the inside. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Oh, Eddie. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Paula, you like it? It's delicious. Just delicious. Isn't yes, it, Eddie? Yes. Mm. And the pork. I think the bacon adds a, mm -hmm. a little extra mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. punch to it. But like mm. I said, I mean, you could uh, oh, it's a little hot. Add, add some vegetables <laughs> if you need to mince up vegetables to make your kids eat something. <laughs> well, That is simply delicious. It's almost like a meatloaf inside that cabbage leaf, y'all. Yes, yes. And of course, 
You can certainly make this recipe your own. You can add Seasoning any, yes, stuff. you could add any type. If you wanted it more Italian, you could add Italian. Uh, Use chunkier tomatoes. Yes. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a pretty versatile. It is truly delicious. And like I said, it's affordable. It goes a long way. And somewhat healthy, right? It is. <laughs> it really is. That's healthy. Mmm. And I do love cabbage. Yeah, me too. Me too. You know what, Eddie? We forgot. To put a bit on? Oh. <laughs> no. To let us pray. Yes. Yeah. Let us pray. <laughs> I pray that I'm so thankful that your mama had you. <laughs> <laughs> Love and best dishes, y'all. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.